Wrong! The alligator invests his lungs in Frog City, Florida. It's... Soils creepy house of prop building. And now, the guy who taught the white zombie how to crack his knuckles. Your host. So you tuned in to the doctor, cause you're looking to learn how to create a human skull on the cheap. Well, you're probably stinking there, thinking, Dr. Dead Soil, this can only be done by slicing and peeling and sun bleaching. <laughs> I'm laughing, because my method is not only easy, it's clean, fast, and most of all, it's cheap. Let's get started. Tell him what they'll need, Carmichael. Now, viewers, it's time to get out your pens and pencils and write down the special items you'll need to perform Dr. Dead Soil's method for creating skulls. Number one, a roll of 1.41 inch thick masking tape. Number two, one blow mold skull. Number three, a box of aluminum foil. Number four, some newspaper. That's it. Now back to you, Dr. Dead Soil. Now that you have all your supplies, start with your blow mold skull. You're gonna need to cut your skull in half. This can be accomplished many ways, using a hacksaw, a serrated knife, heavy duty scissors, or a Dremel tool with a cutting wheel bit. The point is, you wanna find something you're comfortable with and use that to safely separate your skull. When you do make your cut, you want to cut your skull from the side like I did here. When you're finished, you'll have a face side and a back side to your skull. Using your face side, this will become your master mold which you can use over and over and over again, allowing you to have the power to make unlimited duplicates of this skull. <laughs> Continuing with the face of your skull, lie it down so that the opened end is facing up. Next, grab your aluminum foil. You're gonna need to tear off a sheet, roughly the size of the face of your skull. Now it's okay if this is a little wide or a little short. That's not gonna matter. We're gonna use this to start the duplication process of this skull by placing it inside and it... Let's get a little closer on this. <laughs> now you can see that I start by leaving roughly an inch in either take 
of aluminum foil just above the rim. I'll fold that down onto the skull. This will help keep the foil in place and serve for other functions later in this build. All that I'm doing is I'm starting from the top and pushing the aluminum foil down into the skull. This is so easy. Your neighbor's cat can do it. <laughs> this will be a little slow going at first. You want to try your best not to rip the foil as you mash and mush it down into all the bumps and crevices. <laughs> No matter how hard you try, you will rip your foil. Just do your best to keep those rips at a minimum. Once you have your first sheet down, you want to add other sheets, offsetting them and repeating the same process by pushing the foil down to form your skull. The goal is to add enough foil to completely cover the inside of your skull. Now that you have the inside of your skull covered, you need to strengthen your duplicate by tearing off thinner sheets of foil and mashing them into all the crevices. Using these thinner sheets, start mashing it into all the crevices. This will cause a lot of ripping during this process, but that's okay. Think of using your foil like clay. You want to mash it down as deep as you can to fill up all those valleys. Once you have all your crevices filled, grab your newspaper Wad it up and use that to fill up the rest of your skull. Put enough newspaper in till it reaches the rim of your skull. Grab your masking tape. Start tearing up pieces and use that to start sealing off your paper to keep everything in place. While taping, when you get near the edge, you want to make sure that the tape doesn't touch the actual plastic mold. It's okay if it runs a little bit over the top. That's one of the reasons why we left a little bit of foil over the rim. When you have all your tape covering your newspaper, it's time to remove your skull. <laughs> <laughs> to remove your skull, you might need to give it a little shake or 
pulled it down using the excess foil you left near your rim. It should release very easy once it starts to let go. Be careful. Your skull will be very weak once it's out of the mold. At this time, start bending any overflow foil near the edge. Bend it towards the back so it will lay flat. Okay, it's time to firm up this skull. I know what you're thinking. Dr. Dead Soil's probably going to use paper mache. I'm not going to use paper mache. Why mix up a big batch of glue, torn paper, water, and flour? You can do that if you want to get all messy and sticky. But if you continue with my method, just use the masking tape. <laughs> Face it, it's paper, it's sticky, but it's clean and fast. Let's finish this skull. I always like to start from the inside of the eyes, working my way out. I'll start tearing off pieces of tape and slowly pacing it down. You want to have the tape down firmly enough to stick while trying not to distort your skull. Areas like this, around the nose, inside the eyes, you want to tear off little pieces of tape. This will make it much easier to get into those small crevices. <laughs> When you're done, make sure you have all your aluminum foil, both front and back, completely covered with masking tape. You can also mash and pinch certain areas to give it a little more detail. So take a look at this skull. <laughs> now for this video, I only did the face half. If you need the full skull, repeat the process exactly using the back half of your mold. When you're done, continue with the masking tape and tape both sections together. Now just think. In roughly 20 minutes, this is ready to finish off however you wish. Painting, staining, dry brush. Just take a look at these photos. These are skulls I've completed and put into spooky settings. <laughs> Now, other methods of mold making can get very expensive, messy, and time consuming. My method is easy and fast. Now, these skulls can be used indoor, outdoor, it doesn't matter. They're 
cheap. Now in one day, you can make as many as that. Look. The bell has tolled. That means it's time for you to get out of my house. But before you go, I always like to leave my sessions on a happy note. So please welcome my guest, Leo Casino. <laughs>
and I feel 